From the previous video, you understand that SQL language can only be executed by a DBMS, right? A database management system. So we need to choose a DBMS to install on our computer so that we can learn and practice SQL. However, there are many popular database management systems such as Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL, Oracle, or DB2, so on and so forth. And each one of these DBMS has their own flavor of SQL. But don't worry, there is a great similarity between them. As long as you learn SQL against one of these DBMS, you will be able to easily transfer your knowledge of SQL and use SQL in other DBMS. But in this course, my choice of DBMS is Microsoft SQL Server. It is one of the most popular DBMS, especially for business users. And also because of my personal experience that I've been using SQL Server for more than 20 years for developing reports, creating softwares, APIs. So therefore, in this video, let's try to install Microsoft SQL Server. First, let's try to install Microsoft SQL Server, which is the database management system. We can go to Google and search for SQL Server download. And then we can see that here is SQL Server downloads. And click on it and if you scroll down a little bit you can see this developer edition and the express edition i highly recommend you to install the developer edition which is a full feature you can see full featured free edition licensed for use as development and test database in non-production environment okay, so this is full featured whereas the express is not actually full featured it's not the best for learning sql so let's download the developer edition. Once you learn this, you can basically seamlessly transfer all your knowledge onto the professional or enterprise edition of SQL Server, or you can use your knowledge on SQL on Azure, the on cloud edition. So let's download the developer edition now. And it's downloaded, and we can double click on it and click on yes to allow this app to make changes to my computer. We're not going to do anything special, so we are not going to use the custom. Let's just go with basic. So selecting the basic installation and then click on accept and just choose your location. You can accept the default location and click on install. Of course, you can also change to a different location on your computer. So this is going to actually download and install the SQL Server application, and it's going to take a long time. I'm going to pause the recording of this video and after it's installed, I'll come back. Okay, the installation of SQL Server 2022 Developer Edition is completed successfully. And you can see the instance name, which is right here, and it gives you the connection string. Don't worry about what connection string means. And then it tells you which user is the default administrator. It's basically the user you use login with. And then you use that login to install the SQL Server Developer Edition. So that user becomes the default administrator. Right? And then it tells you some default folders. Another thing we need to install, that is SQL Server Management Studio. A database management system is usually a program or application that runs without user interface. To prove to you, I can open up a task manager and you can see all of the programs that are currently running and most of them actually don't have a user interface. Here, I can type in SQL and you can see SQL Server or Windows NT. So this is Microsoft SQL Server, which is a database management system. It is currently running and takes a lot of memory, you can see, but you cannot actually see it on the taskbar. Why? Because it doesn't actually have a user interface. So therefore, you need something else to connect to the DBMS in order to perform tasks against the database management system. So for SQL Server, we need SSMS, and it stands for SQL Server Management Studio. You can see that it has a message. It says that an integrated environment for accessing, configuring, managing, and administrating and developing all components for SQL Server, right? So this one provides a UI, and through that UI, you as a SQL developer can access any SQL Server that you want to access. So let's click on this button and try to install it. 
So it takes you to download SQL Server Management Studio. And then you could scroll down and it says free download for SQL Server Management Studio 19.2. So this is the latest at this moment. And today is December 12, 2023. So by the time that you watch this video, the uh, SQL Server Management Studio may become 20 something, may become 30 something. It doesn't really matter. The basics of using SQL Server Management Studio hasn't changed for decades. Let's try to download the latest version now. So click on the link and then it's trying to download the SQL Server Management Studio now. Okay, that took about a minute. Let's go to the folder and we can see SQL Server Management Studio set up and just double click on it to install the Management Studio. We can accept the default location and click on install. Of course, you can change any folder you want. So click on the install button and click on yes to allow this app to make changes to my computer. And this is also going to take a while. Now the SQL Server Management Studio is installed and it says setup completed. And let's click on the close button. And now we are back at the SQL Server 2022 Developer Edition installation dialog. Since we have already installed both SQL Server itself and SQL Server Management Studio, we can click on this close button and ask me, are you sure you want to exit? Just click on yes. All right, that's everything I want to cover in this video. In the next video, we're going to use SQL Server Management Studio to connect to our newly installed Microsoft SQL Server to learn about how to execute SQL statement in SQL Server Management Studio. I will see you in the next one.